In this cook-off, Kim, Chloe, and Courtney will be making breakfast, lunch, and dinner for our three judges. Each meal will be scored out of five stars. And whoever has the most stars by the end wins the cook-off. The cook-off starts now. For my dish, I want to make something very complexion. So I'm making toast with a small dab of butter to top it off. First, I've got to make the bread. I'm pretty sure flour goes in it and maybe like eggs. Having handmade bread is what will give me that extra hedge. These two have no idea who they're going up against. <laughs> I'm going for the best breakfast known to some kind. I will be making pancakes, a little flour, a couple of drops of milk, and a lot of sugar and salt. I want to give the judges a nice, sweet, and sour experience. I'm known for my upbeat personality. And for thinking outside of the box. So that's what I'm bringing with my dish. I'm making cereal with milk. This isn't just any regular cereal. There's a surprise ingredient. This is gonna take so much work and concentration. The key to good toast is that it's gotta be toasty. The bread has to be at just the right level of chard. I get the bread out at just the right time and it looks great. This toast will have that perfect crunch. A lot of people don't know this about pancakes, but... After you get them nice and cooked on the stove, you finish them up in the microwave. The x-rays keep the pancakes nice and round. It also brings out that delicious brown flavor that everyone loves. The cereal to milk ratio is very important, I think. I don't know what ratio means. It just sounds cool, so I set up. First up is Kim. Describe your... Describe it. I'm serving up charred toast with unsalted, pasteurized, fed grass cow butter. This is charcoal. I could lot of barbecue with this meal. Thank you. Okay, well, the presentation is very unique, very post-apocalyptic. That's what I was going for. And I love sci-fi, but not on my plate. I thought the butter was delicious. But what about the toast? I thought the butter was delicious. How many stars do you give this dish? One. Next up is Chloe. 
What I have for you are my famous sweet and sour x-ray pancakes, topped with syrup a la maple. X-ray pancakes? Yes. What in the... whatever. Judges? I've never had a pancake that's cracked in half like glass. Gotta love that crunch. Why did you go with sweet and sour? Because they're pancakes. Okay. I think it was really bold to put finished pancakes in the microwave. It's the best method. Well, doesn't mean smart though. <laughs> but it's very cute. Overcooked, but cute. How many stars for these sad excuses of pancakes? We'll give it a three. Courtney, your dish? I've made a surprise cereal. Finally, something edible. Oh god! What in my wigs did you put in this? Buttermilk. What? Surprise. What? you use regular milk? Then it wouldn't be a surprise. Duh. How many stars for this, judges? When you get past that unpleasant and nauseating taste of buttermilk, the cereal comes through. Two stars. The judges were stupid. But I'm giving them a chance to redeem themselves with my next dish. I will be making a fruit salad of oranges. Or as the chefs like to call it, an orange salad. Even though I'm in the lead, I'm really taking what the judges said to heart. I don't want to overcook the food, so I'm going the complete opposite. For my lunch, I will be making a salad topped with raw chicken and a lemon wedge on the side. Can't overcook something that isn't cooked at all. I think the judges really liked my surprise. first round, but now it's time to kick it up a notch. I'm making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with a glass of milk. I'm all about taking risks. I live on the edge with my cooking. Kim, what is this? What I have for you today is a fruit salad filled with delicious orange slices. Where's the other fruit? The orange is the fruit. So what you're giving us is a bowl of oranges. It's a fruit salad. One fruit doesn't make a salad. Give me some kiwi, some cherries. An orange is a fruit and it's sliced into a salad. I don't see the problem. It's a bowl of oranges. Stop. Lucky for you, I do love oranges. Very healthy, very wicked. How many stars? Three for the citrus. Chloe, what is that? This is a raw chicken salad and I've put a lemon wedge on the side. As they say in Guatemala, bon appetit. Are you crazy? It's the lemon wedge, isn't it? I should have gone with dressing. I'm not eating a salmonella salad, bitch. I was Going for a sushi vibe. Chicken is not fish. I don't want to get violently ill. Sit. <laughs> How many stars? One. Courtney, describe your dish. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich with a glass of milk. Oh my god, this is actually good. And to serve it with milk is a class act. <laughs> Yes. Judges, how do you rate Courtney's meal? We're gonna give it a four. That puts Courtney in the lead with Chloe and Kim tying. Ew. Next round is dinner. But there's a twist. This meal must be baked. Good luck. Now it's go time. I have to really impress the judges. So for my meal, I will be making a watermelon souffle. It's the perfect combination of soggy and red. My souffle is gonna shock the judges. I flopped last round, whatever. But this meal is just gonna scream high class. I'm gonna be doing something totally original and unexpected. I'm making a souffle.
this souffle is going to be full of cheese. We're talking feta, mozzarella, parmesan, blue, Gouda, goat, carajo, farmer, string, pepper, cottage, soy. And I'll top it with a pinch of fiesta cheese. No more than a pinch, because I don't want to go overboard. I didn't know what to do for my last dish, so I eavesdropped on Kim and Chloe. I will be making a souffle. It's going to have a surprise filling. They'll love it. Kim, I don't even know how to introduce what you made. I'm just going to ask why. Why not is the important question. Everyone yeah, loves watermelon, and it's watermelon. even this better baked is what in my a souffle. Like. I appreciate that. That wasn't... Forget it. One star. Get it out of my face. Which brings you to a total of five stars. Chloe, describe your dish. I have for you a mouth-watering souffle. Another one, and it's stuffed with cheese. My jaw's killing me. How many types of cheese did you put in here? 65. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Judges, how many stars? It's too much damn cheese, but it tasted damn good. Four stars. Great, that brings Chloe's total to eight stars. Courtney, describe your dish. I've made a souffle surprise. Is the surprise buttermilk? No. Oh! oh. <sighs> what the f What did you put in that souffle? Tabasco sauce and peppers. This makes me miss the buttermilk. Yeah. How many stars? My tongue feels like I've licked the devil's butt crack. You're getting one star and one lawsuit for this That brings Courtney's total to seven, making Chloe the winner. I knew I was gonna win, and I don't care what anyone says. My chicken salad was to die for.
My jaw's killing me. How many types of cheese did you put in here? 65. Uh. <laughs> Judges, how many stars? It's too much damn cheese, but it tasted damn good. Four stars. Great. That brings Chloe's total to eight stars. Courtney, describe your dish. I've made a souffle surprise. Is the surprise buttermilk? No. Oh! <laughs> what the f What did you put in that souffle? Tabasco sauce and peppers. This makes me miss the buttermilk. Yeah. How many stars? My tongue feels like I've licked the devil's butt crack. You're getting one star and one lawsuit for this. That brings